G'day, William Fitzpatrick here. Just doing a bit of carp fishing again. Uh, I said I'd have a crack at the uh, the stream stuff, the creek fish this time around, so just in some clear water and throw on that little hybrid fly again. I've rigged up a few mulberries, I've got some egg flies and all the other sorts of nymphs and bits and pieces, so never done the creeks before. Second time out chasing carp on fly, but we'll give it a crack and we'll see how we go. Yes, good hook up on the mulberry. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Tied that mulberry fly up this morning. I thought spring's here. Should be a few mulberries around. There we go. So that's creek carp on fly. Just a little homemade mulberry pattern. Purple, black, a little bit of red. Perfect little mulberry pattern stuff. And yeah, whipped this up this morning. And found a couple mooching and did the old drop knee and stealth them out and yeah, got this guy to eat. Unfortunately, I've got to dispatch this guy. So I'll dig a little hole and put him out of his misery. Pretty cool though. Alright, just got that first one for the session. State that little mulberry fly. Awesome little piece of purple looking fluff, but uh, yeah, convince that guy. Let's see if I can't get a couple more. Oh, you wouldn't believe that. I thought I'd botch those other two and that thing comes swimming down. <laughs> I had no line out. I had to just like rip the line to set the hook. <laughs> it's a big fish by any standards. Big, fat, powerful. And you could tell he was going to eat as soon as he saw it. Stubborn. <laughs> Big mulberry fly munching carp. Poor bugger. But, got to do what you got to do. There we go, second carp. This guy turned around and he was right there, just lobbed that fly in front of him. And, well, that's all on the GoPro, so you'll see that. But That's awesome. Mulberries are in season, they're all over the bush now, the time to bloody do it. Springtime, you've got out a month, they'll, yeah, they'll fruit really hard. And these guys just can't resist the mulberry, so. Mulberry fly. No point letting the calf have all the fun. So good. Mulberry, my fly. Too easy, match the hatch. Here's a little hot tip for you too. If you're having a bit of trouble, the fish refusing your fly or getting close and having a taste. Not that they're having any issues with it today, but give them a little mush here. Get rid of that mulberry and now my mulberry fly tastes like a mulberry. <laughs> Look at them up in here. They're just all up in these shallows. Alright, there's number three. Just suck down that little mulberry. They're just out and about. They're mooching, middle of the day. Good light for spotting them. Once you know what to look for, they stand out. You stay still long enough, they just appear. 
not quite as big, but big gun on it. Carp on fly, Clearwater Creek, southeast Queensland. You get that feeling you're being followed. Yeah, it's weird. All right, it's the end of the session. I end up with three carp, it's pretty cool. It's that little mulberry fly. Little hunk of fluff. Threw that together like two minutes this morning. Just thought, oh, those mulberries will be out. Better have mulberry pattern. It worked a treat. Uh, what else can I say? Caught them. It's not that hard. Clear water carp. It's easy, really. Don't walk like a bloody elephant through the bush. Take your time. Stalk them. Stealth up on them. Um, yeah, they're eating that easy. Like, you just get in front of them. All over it. Uh, the only time they spook is coming down a bank or if you get a little too elevated, you know. Uh, you'll spot them good from an elevated position. That'd be good if you had a mate spotting for you or something. I don't have any mates though, so. But uh, yeah, just take it easy. It's it's so doable. That's uh, second time out carp fly fishing and first time in the Clearwater Creek stuff, so. Yeah, well, if you like that, uh, subscribe to my channel. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. We'll catch you next time.